Okay, so in this video, we are going to make a resume in LaTeX, and we're not just going to make any resume. We are going to make a resume from the bottom up. We're going to write every little part ourselves, and it's actually not going to be difficult um, because, as we're going to find out, LaTeX is actually magic, and a lot of people, unfortunately, use it in sort of a, a ad hoc cargo cult kind of way, and there's nothing wrong with that. Everyone has to use templates every once in a while. There's no shame in it. Uh, but in this video, we're going to make a document from the bottom up. It's going to be a CV, so it'll be nice and useful. Um, and in fact, let me go ahead and let me go ahead and uh, make a new file, a new resume file. And this is how this is going to work. Um, in the first section, in the individual work section, uh, we're just going to make sort of uh, a skeleton of what we want our resume to look like. So let's say we'll start off with an article document class. Uh, we'll go ahead and begin and end our document. Just super basic stuff. Uh, we'll throw in a title and I'll just call it resume. Um, and of course I'm going to use accent marks because I am nice and sophisticated. Uh, and we'll give it an author, which is me in this case. Um, and we'll go ahead and give it the make title command. And uh, let's actually might as well go ahead and open it up. And here it is, what it looks like now. Again, article format. Now, here's the thing. We don't want our, our CV to look like, or our resume to look like some kind of, uh, you know, article. But we're not going to worry about that right now. Uh, we're actually, in fact, we don't even need this. Well, I don't know why I brought you up. You, we don't even need this portion uh, right now. Um, we're going to start with only the sections that we want in our resume. We want to care only about this, the sort of syntax, the, the structure. Uh, now, what do I mean by that? Now, any kind of resume is going to have different sections. So let's say we want a section on technical skills or something like that, or another one on, you know, general skills, uh, another one on, I don't know, education, uh, job experience, whatever. I don't know, service. I'm just making, this is probably what I'm going to have on mine. Uh, and you could make up whatever uh, sections you might want. And of course, in those sections, we are going to have sub sub like subsections. So let's say, um, oops, that was a sub sub section. Um, so let's say in technical skills, we want like uh, what kind of languages I know. And in fact, we can divide that into a sub sub section. Let's say um, uh, programming languages. Like, uh, we'll, we'll give it some stuff like C, C++, uh, Haskell, uh, I don't know what else, Lisp, that's a cool language. Um, and we'll have another sub subsections for markup language, m markup languages, like, of course, LaTeX. I mean, we can't leave LaTeX out, uh, HTML, CSS. So what am I doing? That's a good question. Um, what I'm thinking about now is not necessarily what this document is going to look like, um, you know, if I have, uh, let me go ahead and pull up the preview. I'm not thinking about what it's going to look like right now. What we're going to do, and what I, we're, actually here's what we're going to do. We're going to pause the video for a second, and what I want you to do is just fill out your resume with all the different sections and sub subsections you think you're going to want. Organize everything in terms of just those headings, these kind of headings here. Uh, don't think about what it looks like over here. Don't don't even contemplate it. Just think in the abstract. What kind of categories do you want? Now, here's what we're going to do in this video. Once we have that, once we resume the video, um, we are going to make changes not to anything down here in the actual document area, but things up here. In you know, uh, you know, we're going to adjust settings here that change everything about how these headings look. So you are going to get a very specialized, very particular. Uh, resume to your liking. Um, and it's going to be easy. It's going to be nice and fun and easy. So I'm going to pause the video for a second. I'm going to fill this out with my stuff uh, and you should do the same. It'll be really fast. All right. So um, just give me a couple seconds. I'll be back in just a bit. All right. We're back. So uh, I went ahead and wrote a bunch of stuff, some of which is true, some of which isn't. Doesn't matter. Uh, let's go ahead and open up a preview um, because, you know, just, just to see where we are now. Um, When's that thing gonna, there we are. Okay, here we are. So if you turned a resume like this in, I mean, maybe they like the content, but that is not what you want a res resume to look like. But here's the thing, here's the thing about LaTeX. Um, you can just feed it a kind of structure and 
do really amazing things with it. And that's what we're going to do. So here's, here's the pledge I make for the rest of the video. I might have to break it, but here's the pledge I want to make. I'm not going to modify anything below this line. I'm not going to change anything under here, but I'm going to make a resume that looks pretty polished and professional, and you can too if you follow along. Uh, so let me go ahead and fold this. Uh, we don't even want to look at uh, what all is under there. It doesn't matter. All we know is that there are sections and sub subsections and stuff like that. All right, where are we going to start? Let's start with what's called the title sec package. Um, so in your opening, go ahead and type use package. Um, I cannot type today. Uh, title sec. So title sec, I think it stands for title section, uh, but it's a really nice package for modifying how sections appear. There are a couple different commands we're going to talk about, uh, chief among which is probably title format. Title format. Uh, looks like this. What you do is first off you feed it a an, arg, an argument, which is going to be a function actually. Uh, let's say we want to modify what sections look like. Um, I'm going to say in the first bracket we are going to put section. And title format actually wants four other arguments. And I'm going to put them, just for clarity's sake, on different lines. But since it's law tech, it ignores, you know, one line gaps. Uh, now there are going to be four arguments, one, two, three, four. Uh, now we only need something in the third one here, uh, and that is going to be, well, actually I'll, I'll explain what all of these are. Um, so let's see, is that uh, upgrade updating now? All right, great. Okay, so if you notice what just happened, my section here, uh, which used to be nice and big and had a one in front of it, it now got reduced to nothing. And that's because the title format command changes what the, the command section does. And here, um, what these different arguments are, are the different things that sort of surround it. Now, for example, this one, um, so of course we're acting on section. The first one is formatting. So for example, um, let's say this is really small text. Um, so in this f first uh, bracket, pair we can put say let, let's say huge we want it to be nice and big uh, so there it is there or let's say we want it to be bold uh, we can put BF series uh, and that'll make it nice and bold okay so the first one is for what the formatting looks like of the entire thing now the second one is for numbering now I don't necessarily want numbers in my CV uh, but you can use them and uh, you just in this position you just call the man the command uh, I think it's the section yeah the section so it puts the section number here um, now I'm not going to use those you can if you want uh, but I'll, I'll keep it here for a second just so we can illustrate now the third one is the distance between what is in the number uh, thing and what comes afterwards. So if we let's say we increase this to one, you're gonna have a little gap here. Um, okay, uh, let's decrease that and let me go ahead and get rid of this because I'm not gonna use it now. Um, so it's the number, the distance between the number and the rest of it, and then this is um, you know any kind of code you want to appear after the gap between the number and the title, but before the title. Uh, and I don't necessarily want anything there, but you can see if you type something in, uh, it will uh, pop pop up uh, over here. So yeah, I don't necessarily want anything there, but whatever. Um, so those are the kind of options you have. Now, um, let's say, where are we gonna start? What kind of thing, what do I want my section to look like? Let me change some things here. Um, let's say I wanna be nice and sophisticated and modern and I want uh, lowercase uh, sections. I don't know, that's just cool. So you can put lowercase in here, and look at that, that's so artsy, that's that's nice and uh, modern. Uh, so all my sections are now, we're changing them all at once. Keep in mind, that's the nice thing about this. We're now just changing what the commands do that we've called, and we don't have to modify what's actually in our resume. We're just changing everything at once. Um, so that's nice for section for now. We'll, we might do some more sec uh, changing later. But you can call, call the uh, title format command for not just section, but subsections, uh, of course. Um, so let's say we want our subsections, let's say we, we want them bold. Uh, so that's going to be in our formatting. Uh, and then the second one, we're not going to have numbers here either. Uh, then we're going to have zero distance between the number and the text because, well, we don't have numbers. And then we'll just put nothing in there. So you can see 
uh, here we have all this. Let's see, what else do I want here? Now, there are a couple other things um, you can actually do. Actually, you know what I, could, I should do? Um, instead of having numbers, I don't necessarily want numbers. Let's say I want like a big dot here. Uh, I don't know, dots are just the first thing that came to my head. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the, um, oh, what is the, the math, oh, bullet in math mode. Uh, and it, that puts, that'll put a nice juicy bullet. Uh, right here. So, you know, that gives me something. Now, let's also make these a little bigger. Um, uh, we'll make them large. Actually, we'll make them large with a capital L. Large! Okay, that's a little better. Um, all right, that, look, that looks all right for now. And let's go ahead and also make a title format uh, for sub subsection. Um, sub subsection, sub sub. Jesus never spell on the spot. Um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give it any kind of special formatting now again. Uh, now I, I don't know if I said it a second ago, but the only argument you actually need is this third one that has a distance. Um, and if as long as this has something in it that is a number, um, it, the LaTeX will compile that you won't have any kind of problems, but you don't have to fill anything in the other spaces. So what do we want our sub subsection to do? Um, here's what I want mine to do. I think I want mine bold. So we'll do BF series series. Okay. So nice and bold. Um, and here's something I didn't tell you. You could also give them optional arguments. Uh, and you can look at the di documentation for, for title sec for a full list of these. But one of the ones I like is run in. So if I give run in, you put it in square brackets right after this, what you'll see is that the sub subsections no longer indent, you now how you now have everything on the same line. So this is a nice space saver. I think it also looks pretty nice. I mean, I'm going to have lots of sub subsections. So I might as well, I don't need to indent every time. I think this looks pretty sweet. So let me Again, show you the difference. So without, uh, we have everything underneath. Uh, with it, uh, that's what we got. So I think that's what I'm going to go with for now. Uh, what else do I want to change? Um, so in addition to these optional arguments, you can also pre uh, put an optional argument at the very end in brackets. Um, and I think I will put one at the end of section. Let's say I want um, a horizontal line. I'm just going to put that in brackets and that uh, should, yeah, here we go. So we got a nice horizontal line and that's, so that now this resume is starting to look a little bit more like an actual resume. It doesn't look like an article. Right now it looks like something mutated and in between, but we're getting there. Um, so let's modify a couple other things. Let's see, what else do we need to do? Um, let's go ahead, let's talk about the make title. So if you remember, and let's scroll down to this code, I'm not going to change it, but I'm going to look at it. Now remember the make title command is what we called here. And normally make title just spits you out, uh, you know, the name, uh, the title, the author, and the date, and that's it in whatever special formatting. Uh, but of course you can redefine what the make title command does. And you know, I think that's what, that's what we should do. Um, and you do that, uh, as you may or may not know, with the uh, was it new recommit renew command? Yeah, I think that's it. Um, I hope. Well, well, we'll find out anyway. Um, so renew command means uh, rename a command or, or not rename one, um, redefine it. So we'll redefine make title. Um, and we'll just put empty brackets here, and you'll notice that it just disappears because what's happening is LaTeX is now calling uh, make title. But here we've defined make title as nothing. There's nothing in here. Uh, but if we put something in here, let's say, you know, just put some letters there. Now these are, you know, um, in our document. Um, so there are a couple things. Let's go ahead and make some changes to it. Uh, I'm also going to call another package. Um, and this is going to be package. I'm going to call titling. And the reason I'm going to do that is titling makes uh, calling like your author name and stuff like that a little more flexible. It gives you another command, which is specifically, I think it's like uh, the author. Uh, yeah, so you can call this time and time again. So there's my name. Uh, I think with make title, you can only call it once and then afterwards it erases the variable. Uh, it just complicates things. So uh, titling makes things a little easier. 
Okay, so let's. Um, I'm going to make this a redefinition of a couple more lines because uh, I want some flexibility here. Let's say, um, well, I think I'm going to want this centered. So I'm going to go ahead and um, learn to spell right. But after that, I'm going to type begin center and uh, end center. Uh, and then I'll also we'll make my name nice and huge because that is what that's what the resume is all about. In fact, let's make it uh, be, uh, bold as well. Okay, nice and big and bold. Um, and let's have some other stuff. Uh, so you know we got our author there. Um, I should probably put some like contact information. Uh, so I'll put uh, um, I'll just put my email address. So Luke at Luke Smith. Dot XYZ, and then uh, give it an M dash, and then I'll also put my website HTTP colon slash slash Luke Smith dot XYZ. And you can make them actual links if you really want to, but I'm just I'm being a little lazy here. So that's what we got here. Um, what else do we want? Actually, I might put a little vertical space here just because you know, just to give us some uh, breathing room. Let's see. Okay, I think that's. Oops, I lost control of myself for a second there. Lost control of him. Okay, there we go. All right, so now now things are looking a little good. Uh, now one other thing, you might have already changed this because people usually do this pretty quickly, but we have really, uh, you know, narrow mart or. Is it narrow margins or wide margins? I guess the page is very narrow. So we might want to use more of our page uh, than we have before. So let's call the infamous uh, and uh, useful geometry package. Um, and that'll give us the ability to change things about uh, what our margins look like. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say margin equals one inch. And I'll make all the margins one inch. So we have. Uh, now it looks like all my stuff is on one page. I don't. I didn't put that much. I just sort of threw a, whatever I had up. So anyway, that it's fine. It's just an example. Um, so yeah, that's what we got now. Um, all right. So what else do I want to change? I'm just gonna think about. Uh, let, let's have uh, these sub sub sections are a little stilted. I want to put some stuff. Let's say between um, to distinguish them from the text that follows. Oops, that's not what I meant. Um, so we're going to put in another optional ending syntax um, argument. So we'll put a little dash here. Uh, and you'll notice that there's a little space. Uh, how do I zoom in on MUPDF? I don't even remember. Oh, it's probably like, yeah, plus. Um, so there's a little space here. And I think this is actually from uh, indenting. Uh, we might get rid of indenting later, but um, okay, so here's where we are. We started off, notice what we've done so far. Um, we started off with just the syntax of what looked like an article, and it was a total mess. Uh, but we're now at a position where we have a document using only a couple packages, just really just title sec is the main one. Uh, you can redefine different stuff and get a lot of the stuff you want. So anyway, I think that's about enough for this video just because I'm... I've used like 40 gigs recording all this. I have to re you know, record everything in high fidelity just because I want it. Um, but I'll make another video later and we'll, we'll go into changing this a little more. So um, stay tuned and I'll post that a little later after this. So see you around.